Hi everyone and welcome to another one of our expert interviews during this uh, training program. I'm very happy to have back again uh, Chrissy Simianakis, the founder of Creative Little Soul. She's a digital marketing expert and you would have already heard her talk about email list building and email automation and today I'm very happy to have uh, her back and we're going to be talking about digital marketing and launch plan ideas. Thanks for joining us Chrissy. Hi Trudy, thanks for having me. Okay, so um, I know that you um, have been doing a lot of business coaching over the years and you're a business strategist as well as uh, just not only for digital marketing, but also just general uh, business overview strategies. Mm -hmm. And I guess um, as many of the people have been involved in this particular training program, they've found that there's so many different uh, hats, <laughs> so many different skills and knowledge that you have to have. And so there's no point in um, creating a course uh, that no one's going to be able to want to buy. So I guess marketing is a huge aspect of uh, anything to do with business. And so what I just wanted to ask you, I guess, is can you just give us an overview of what exactly is digital marketing? Mm -hmm. Sure. So it's um, <laughs> I'll try and give you the best description I can. So digital means anything online, right? So digital marketing can mean um, anything from posting on social media so, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, TikTok. Then we go to um, email marketing. So that's a form of digital uh, marketing as well. Uh, placing ads. So Google ads or ads that are affiliate linked uh, to push back to your product or platform. So the simplest terms is anything online that you don't really in incur a huge cost with. Yeah, sure. And I guess, um, again, having, um, you know, you know, I'll say in my case, in the olden days, we had a lot of print advertising, we had a lot of radio advertising, we had a lot of TV advertising. And so, mm -hmm. um, you know, digital marketing, I guess, in some ways, has become a much more affordable way to mark because, you know, basically, say 30 years ago, uh, you'd have to have, you know, $10,000 just to put on a That's very right. short 15 second advert on TV. So, um, but again, uh, you know, having, um, having uh, learnt a lot of digital about digital marketing from you over the last couple of years, particularly with my uh, with launching a lot of my own products. One of the things that I think that happens is a lot of people um, aren't necessarily strategic, so they're very uh, you know they they sort of not not um, they're not um, effective with their marketing because they might be doing you know a, a post here and a post there yeah. or a blog here, and it's not very it's not really in a in a, a sequence, I guess, or a, uh, the strategy is not there to actually uh, keep people engaged the whole time. It, given that we were talking about um, launching some of our products. Um, yep. And again, for those that are watching, um, hopefully they've already done the previous modules because we've talked about um, validating your offer, uh, making sure that your your audience wants what you're offering and all of those mm -hmm. sorts of things. So once the offer is actually there ready, um, in part of the um, modules or the worksheets in the training program, I provided a product launch checklist, but it's not comprehensive. It's really just there to give oh. people an idea of some of the things they could do. What are what is like a simple launch strategy that people could do with uh, their lead magnet or their digital product yep. or a course? Yeah, so this might sound super weird, but I start from the I start from the the launch date and I work backwards. Yep. Um, it's the easiest way of doing so because we know that you know the twenty first of September is when we're going to launch, um, and then we go okay, what do we need to do a week out? What do we need to do two weeks out? What do we need to do three weeks out? Um, I find generally four to five weeks is a sweet spot um, for launching anything. If we go too soon, people, we run the risk of people forgetting about us. Um, and if you're not posting consistently, like, you know, every couple of days or every day even, we just find either we saturate the market or we can't penetrate the market. So there's either too much noise and then your customers are going, oh, my God, shut up already. Like, launch your yep. bloody product. Yeah. Um, or, you know, we haven't said enough about what it is. So generally what I do is I, I get a piece of paper, I draw it out, and I put my dates, and then I go, okay, um, a week before is a good milestone. So seven days to go, ten days to go, five days to go, one day to go. Like, we love these countdowns back as humans. So I recommend mm. doing those. And then, okay. you know, I even do a teaser. So, you know, quite often I'll say, hey, huge announcement coming tomorrow at 9 a.m. Keep it on your inbox. So it's the pre-announcement of the announcement. And you'll find a lot of people who are successful that do this, 
are people that are selling tickets. Hey, Rihanna tickets go on, online tomorrow at 9 a.m. Be ready mm. and waiting by computers. So we take that same methodology and we take that same strategy, but we're just using it and applying it to our products or services. Oh, absolutely. I love that. And I actually saw a Dell tickets the other day, $40,000 or something. <laughs> there was a big countdown for these Adele tickets going on sale. So yeah. I guess, you know, from a digital marketing perspective or any marketing perspective, you know, we always talk about, you and I are always talking about making sure that we're congruent, that we're authentic, that, you know, mm-hmm. we're not, in my case, and I know that in your case as well, I don't want to manipulate people to come into my programs. I don't want to manipulate people to buy yep. my products. I want them to come willingly. So often there's a lot of free information that I provide beforehand so that people can actually sample, um, sample, I guess, some of the products so they can see whether they want to come in. If it's an online course, I give them a few free videos to watch to see whether that's something that, you know, works for them. I might give a free yep. workbook or something like that. Is is that something that um, that you recommend that people do as part yeah, of their I do. process? Yeah, I do. So I, I think, um, you know, we, we talk about it a little bit. It's... Um, we need to build we need to build rapport with people. So we can have all of these accolades, we could have won all of these awards, we could have had 30 years experience in our industry and in our niche and be very good at it. But we're wanting people who don't know us or have never had anything to do with us um, to build a relationship with us, to trust us, uh, to establish that we are in fact who we say we are. So, you know, I always say a freebie is really great. And when I, when I recommend a freebie, it might just be a one-page checklist. It doesn't have to be huge. Mm-hmm. But I always say to people, when you're giving out that free item, imagine you're giving that person $10 worth of value. Mm-hmm. So when they look at it and go, oh, my God, I got this for nothing. And she's given me so much more than I expected. Oh, this is amazing. And then your next product um, or service should be mid-range. So, you know, $40, $50, you know, something that's not a huge amount of money that if I didn't, if I didn't um, get the value that I thought out of this product, um, would I still be able to like eat, sleep, you know, pay my bills? It's yeah. a small amount. Um, and then with that product, I then say to people, give them a hundred dollars worth of value. Mm. Because again, they're going, Oh my God, now I've bought this from them and they're giving me all of this value. Oh, well, when did, imagine what their $1,700 or $2,400 course or, workshop should be because I've already gotten so much so much so that's what I always say to people use your products or uh your your books your guides your courses have the free have the the minimal um risk uh value output and then you can ask people because it's very unrealistic to just go out with a high priced product and expect people to hand over their money to you willingly without knowing you Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And I I think also, um, you know, particularly at the moment, um, there's a like there's a there's a oversupply of so many different industry um, um, uh, people, Uh, let's Mm -hmm. say, for instance, business coaches. So a a lot of times um, people aren't sure who, you know, who is going to provide value, who is going to be have all the skills and knowledge and experience to get someone to uh, that transformation that they're looking for, whether it's, you know, health, wealth, relationships, fitness or whatever um, it might be. And I guess um, in some ways, you know, those free resources or the continual connection through social media, videos or whatever it might be, people are able to ga- gain more of a uh, an understanding of whether that person might fit because we don't always fit with the same people. Some people like the real hard approach and some people like the soft yeah. approach and some people like you know come along with me gently sort of approach so yeah now talking about um accolades i guess like it's be remiss of me not to actually <laughs> ask you <laughs> to first of all congratulate you i know that you've run lots of awards but this one is a significant <laughs> award because it's an international award can you just remind me again uh, about your particular award that you've just been awarded with and again congratulations thank you um so i just was i received the um international business awards so it's global um and it's called a bronze stevie um, so the Stevie Awards are probably the highest level of international business awards there are. Um, and I took out Woman of the Year. So as my brother calls, as my brother keeps telling me, 
I'm not the best woman of the year. I'm the third best woman of the year. <laughs> That's so, pretty great because I absolutely. It. And um, and I know that I have heard of the Stevie Award, so I'm familiar with them. But for those that haven't, go and have a little look. We'll put the little link down below. Um, that's actually um, a link to, uh, I think, maybe a little article that was written about it as well. So, um, mm -hmm. but huge congratulations. And I'm, I'm very pleased that you're a part of our uh, our network because <laughs> we, uh, we can continue to, um, you know, gain really useful information from your uh, knowledge and experience and um, and so once again congratulations but also Thank look you. forward to seeing you in um, the October intake where we're going to be doing For some sure. more expert interviews and um, picking your brain a little bit more so I've got one I've got one key tip which I think is really important Trudy just sure. before we move on um, if you are a, if you're a small business which I know a lot of you are or you're you know wanting to go into uh, making your hobby or your side hustle your full-time gig quite often it can be difficult to have funds mm -hmm. um, to, to spend on marketing. Um, ha have a look and look at your digital product that you've created and use it as collateral. Like if you need a logo done, um, find a graphic designer who wants to, to you know, level up. Um, use your course to trade with people. Um, sure. They could be getting like further development and education out of it. They might offer that to their staff. They, they in turn might offer that in lieu to you but then think of it as these are people who are going to then be able to give you reviews too mm -hmm. um friends joint ventures so you start using this as a bit of a bartering tool yes um, and swap it with people for one of their courses or um you know i i trade with my tattoo artist yes um, i give him marketing advice he gives me tattoo dollars yeah, so i love that just remember barter is such an underutilized offering and skill that we have and you've got this product there now sitting there. Try and get it into the hands of people who are going to say, oh, my God, you know, Karen has created this amazing thing or, yes. you know, Michael's done this. And yeah. just start cheerleading for each other. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I, I agree totally uh, with that. Um, and I think that that's sometimes what happens is people become very territorial. It's like, you know, this is this is my precious little thing. But that precious little thing is of no value to anyone if it's not being shared. And of so course. sometimes some of those little collaborations and barter uh, idea systems, I think a lot, I know a lot of people that got started in that way and have continued yeah, to be I able do. to grow and then support each other more and more. So I always say to people, we, we, we need to be referred referring and uh, each other because ultimately that's the best way that we can continue to grow um, our, our business and I, rather than staying tight knit to ourselves and not you know believing that there's limitations and scarcity rather than that we yeah. you know, we live in an abundant world where we actually go hey you know I mean I've got people that do record the very similar courses to what I to what I do but we're always communicating all the time yeah. saying hey that was really good I love that yeah, actually absolutely. take on it so um yeah so thanks for that little bit of advice I really appreciate that I think that that's really great advice and um thanks again for for joining us nice. and we look forward to um sharing with me more just want to double check I know that you're flat out I know that you have a lot of um uh, you don't have a lot of time left for any of your <laughs> coaching and things like that. Uh, is it possible uh, to for people to reach out to you? Yeah, of course. Um, okay, great. Okay, I so do. I answer questions all the time. So awesome. Okay, the best, great. The best way to if you have a question. Yes. And I don't charge. You can have you can uh, have fifteen minutes of my time. Oh, uh, wow. That, okay. That's my investment back into yeah. helping with others. Right. I love that. Um. So you can go to my website. You go to the contact page. You can either book a fifteen minute session with me. Yep. Or you can just send me a uh, contact form via my website. I'll reply to your email, and it's always me. Yes. Um, you know, it might not be straight away, but it'll be within you know a reasonable amount of time. Sure. Um, and I think you know I've still got coaching calls left for the rest of the year. Sure. Um, I think I've probably got about ten left. Excellent. Uh, okay, great. Okay. But they they can be purchased in like you can purchase an hour, but we don't have to use that hour in one day. Awesome. Okay, great. Yeah. 15 minutes here, 10 minutes here, five minutes here. Love you know. that. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Love that flexibility. Oh, fantastic. Well, thanks for that. I just wanted to check before. No worries. Thank you. I want to put your link down below so that people can <laughs> um, um, you know, basically be able to do that, either book a, a free strategy call or pay yeah, for some absolutely. coaching sessions. Um, and once again, yeah, thank you so much um, for no worries, sharing with us all. So appreciate that. So Keep out your projects, everyone. You yes, everyone, them. get your projects. <laughs> we, we, we Basically, by the end of 2022, we want to at least have one lead magnet even if we have nothing else we can continue to do the rest uh in in 2023 but um, right. 
Okay, well, thanks everyone. And nice. um, I look forward to seeing Chrissy in more expert interviews. And I look forward to seeing everyone in uh, upcoming expert interviews. Thanks very much. Bye for now.